Hey everybody, Brett Nobody here, and welcome back to Let's Play World of Warcraft. Uh, in the last part, we finished up a couple of quest objectives, went to, made it all the way to Cliff Spring River, and this time we are going to be collecting some crab meat. Uh, that's going to take up about the first half, and the second half is going to be realizing that our bags don't have enough storage space. Taking out these crabs here, uh, they're found at the mouth or where the Zor Cliff Spring River connects to the Zorm Strand and out to the ocean. These crabs have a very poor drop rate on their fine chunks. Like, it takes me a minute. Well, what happened was, I found, on average, one a minute. So, you guys, you're probably going to be killing a couple of these, unless the random number generator is very kind to you. It won't be. Trust me, Blizzard is not very kind right now. <laughs> Apparently, Cataclysm is taking up so much of their time that they can't bother fine-tune and tweak things. And now I'm letting my problems with raiding get to me. <clears throat> uh, these things have a good chance of... Actually, every almost every time, they will drop you a clam, which contains some clam meat. Uh, clam meat, if you're a cooker, or if your animal likes fish or raw food... Uh, hunters are going to have a great time. If you're a cook, you can make some clam something. I don't know the clam recipes right now. I only took cooking so I could get the achievements. So sue me. <clears throat> uh, going back to a strategy of rooting and then wrathing it to death. I've got to say, I've noticed I've been using entangling roots a lot more than I said I would. Uh, entangling Roots has just become such a helpful ability keeping it away, especially Nature's Grasp. I never use that when I'm on my main, so I don't know what doing these LPs will do to me when Cataclysm comes out and I'm getting to 85. Also, something I will say, when Cataclysm does come out, I will probably be taking a short break off these videos, although not knowing when Cataclysm comes out. I would love to get out of Azeroth before Cataclysm comes. So, if Cataclysm releases, uh, and we're in Outland, I'll just release all ca all pre-Wrath vi- or all pre-Cat videos, and Outlands and Northrend will not be touched at all, so we're gonna be fine there. Only difference is we might be seeing a couple more Worgen and Goblins running around. Yes. So, just going down the beach. The reason we're still on the beach here, in fact, is because, uh... Actually, why are we on the beach? I don't even know myself. The buzz box is down this beach, and we pick up another quest here. Mm, not really much questing done. I'm talking to someone that I answered a question about their trial account. I asked them to leave me alone. I'm glad they did. Because purple text just doesn't cut it in a Let's Play video. I really should put D&D &D up when I do these. <clears throat> Surprisingly, these crabs hit hard. I don't know if it's because I'm wearing mostly cloth gear or... I was hoping it was all leather, but I actually am wearing some cloth gear because it's just an upgrade. Not much good leather caster gear until you get into high-end content and rating because... As you know, in early WoW, druids were the healer. Thankfully, in BC and Wrath, we will be seeing some more uh, balance-friendly gear. But until now, we are sticking primarily with um, whatever we're in. Cloth, there we are. God, I am so scatterbrained when I do these. I really do need to write down stuff to say. This will be so much easier when I'm doing my other Let's Play, because I can just talk and talk and talk about that. Uh, fighting Murlocs here found us another beach sea creature. This one is, in fact, a turtle. Yes, there are giant turtles. They are in Northrend. Uh, actually, you have to talk to its foot, not its head this time. I'm ready to hightail it out of there, so I run. 
Oh, ran into some Murlocs there, run into a new type of enemy. They're called Netters. Murloc Netters, they have a... They can throw a net on you and root you in the ground. For Druids, that's not bad because we can switch in and out of a form and we are basically free of crowd control. Yes. Some people speculate that is another reason why they are taking away tree form. I'm not going to talk about that. I'm not going to talk about that. Turn in our Buzzbox quest here. Get Buzzbox 323. This requires you to get six Moonstalker Fangs. You can get the fang er, Fangs from any sort of Moonstalker cat. Uh, that means runts, moonstalkers, sires. I would recommend getting them from moonstalkers, though. They have a better tendency to drop from them. <clears throat> Unfortunately, that tendency still isn't high, and neither is our skinning. I really need to do some off-camera skinning, grinding of destiny. Travel form just makes getting around so much faster. If you notice a Moonstalker off the road, it's not going to hurt you to get off it, because oftentimes the roads around here are just straight, and you can just keep following it, like right here. I go off by beaten path. Find a Moonstalker Fang. Yay! And another. Wait. And another, please. Pretty please. I know I logged out with two out of six. Yay, didn't make a liar out of me. <clears throat> so, we are heading up to the Tower of Arthalax. Surprisingly, that quest seemed easier this time than the first when I actually did it. I don't know if that was because I was low level and I decided to do it and it was harder for me because the mobs were higher level but the mobs looked like they had been much made easier there's buzzbox 2323 by the way we are not going to worry about that in this part we're going to worry about that in probably the next or the next after I don't know I am getting very lazy in my video making one more moonstalker before we head up to what's his name at the tower I don't really know his name been a while since I've read that quest thing I put up. FedEx quest, very easy, even if you're low level. Turn in the quest, I was reading, I don't know why. Collect this next one. You need to get four worn parchments from the fanatics around the tower. Any four will do, I assume. Uh, only one type we run into here. These are these dark er, strand dark fanatics. I don't know what they're really called. I can't really read that well, especially the screen, it's so dang tiny. Dark Strand Fanatic is what it's called. These fanatics, the only thing I saw that they have a chance of doing is casting a curse on you called Dark Mending. It's whenever they, either it works that they have a 20% chance to heal themselves when they strike you, or you have a 20% chance to heal them when you strike them. But either way, we find one parchment. I realize my bags are full, so I drop one piece of trash. And I realize it's time to hearth out of there to empty out our bags. We will be coming back to the Tower of Arthalax in a later part, but in this part we're just hearthing away. Hopefully we'll be coming back when we have the Moonstalker, th Moonstalker fangs. Go down here to Goverblump, turn in that quest. Get some fine looking gloves. Turn in the quest to turn in the strangely marked box. Get some nice experience. Turn in the quest for the dame who wants the red crystal found. Get another quest to test out some water on it. Go to the moon well to fill up our vial. Go over here to turn in another quest and realize that our bags are full so we can't collect the reward. We'll be turning in these quests in the next part. Until next time guys, comment, rate, subscribe. Thanks for watching.